What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time we continued on our very long free day. Um, definitely a lot longer than uh, we're used to here. But uh, yeah, we were able to get some more done. All the side quests that popped up got handled. And we have two bonding events still to do. So let's head into town to do them. One with Sarah, and then one with Muse. Uh, I guess let's do the Muse one first. She's at the dormitory. Uh, so we can save the Sarah one for last. Tita's just hanging out here, probably cooling off after that hot bath. Hmm. Dom Dalla and Amol Tamis. Are those Vantage Masters cards? What are you up to, Muse? Oh, just a little fortune telling. I heard you could use these cards like you would tarot cards. Is there anything in the future you'd like to know about? Future? You mean like field exercises? Something like that. Although I'm having some trouble interpreting the meaning behind the cards. Let's just see. Let's just say it means your destiny is in your own hands. I'm not sure I have any clue either, but she seems to be deep in thought. Oh, I hear you're really good at Vantage Masters. How about we take a break and have a match? Why, I'd be honored to have a match against you, Instructor Reen. All I ask is that you be gentle with me. It's a card game, relax. And so Reen and Muse prepare their decks and began their duel. It was a fierce battle with no clear winner right up until the final turn, and in the end... Our masters destroyed each other. That makes it a tie, no? I didn't expect such a heart-pounding match. You're amazing, instructor. So are you, Muse. I remember thinking this when we were at the casino in Rackle, but you really are good at these kinds of games, aren't you? Is it your grandfather's influence? He taught me a lot about card and board games. My father would often play against me, too, before he passed away, that is. Your father. He passed away about ten years ago, didn't he? Yes, I was about five or six at the time. He trained me so well, I would occasionally beat him in chess, too. Wow, so I guess even at a young age, you were talented. So then, when are you planning to show us your true strength? Oh, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I can tell you were giving it your all and you weren't giving it your all in our match. You were much more fearsome of an opponent when you went up against the Jaeger at the casino. Like I said before, everyone in class seven supports each other. If they're giving it everything they've got on your behalf, isn't it unfair that you don't do the same? You truly are amazing. I would be more than honored to show you the full extent of my gaming abilities. However, there will be one condition. A condition? <sighs> Please stop. The winner will get to make one demand of the loser. Um, that's... A serious bout should feature a serious prize, wouldn't you agree? Should you manage to win, I'll ask you... I'll do anything you ask, anything at all. Whether your request is to spend a romantic evening with me under the stars... Or if you want me to tell you the reason why Eustace and Patrick were acting the way they were in Lamar. Honestly, I was curious about that. Is something going on? That said, I'll put a handicap on myself. If you manage to defeat me once out of three games, you shall have your reward. However, if I win all three games, I shall be the victor and take you as my prize. Well, well, you're that confident, huh? I just need to win one out of three games, but even that might prove a challenge. All right, I'll agree to your terms. There's no way I can back down now. All right, let's get our decks out and do this. Very well, if that's what you want, then I won't hold back. He's gonna be out of a job if he loses because he can't date a student. And so the three matches between Rain and, and uh, began between Rain and an unfettered Muse. They both used unopened decks they hadn't seen before. Though Rain was unfamiliar with the cards, the decks were equal in power. However, 
And a vanish to end the match. Your master is defeated. <sighs> I activate Curious Bell skill and your master is no more. You got me again. This brings to our final match. As things stand, I feel I'll be able to win this final match with ease. Man, these decks should be pretty even, but you're still destroying me. Who knew experience with games would make such a huge difference? I sincerely doubt you'll be able to turn the tides at this point. Whatever will you do now, this was never a fair matchup to begin with, so if you forfeit now, I'll cancel our... No, it's still too early to throw in the towel. I've got one card in my deck that can use to turn things around. It, it really is Yu-Gi-Oh. If I manage to drive before you defeat me, I can use it to make a comeback. He's going to draw Exodia. Oh. I suppose you're right. Your chances of winning are greater than zero, if only slightly. That's all I need. Unfortunately, I'm not the type to give up. Let's take this match to its end, music. Bring it on. Brain used every card in his hand to desperately parry each of Musei's advances. And at the final turn, before his master's health was depleted, it arrived. I got it. I summon Greon and attacks your master twice. Ah, my master's health is zero. I lose. Haha, <laughs> I actually did it. Yeah, now you won't uh, be out of a job and possibly go to jail. <laughs> I wonder if she was holding back, though. Yeah, but it came down to the wire. In the end, I had to rely on my luck. Your ability to analyze the situation and predict the, your opponent's move actions is amazing, but not everything can be planned for. As we've seen on our field exercises, unexpected events can happen at any time. Understood it was a fine lesson, Instructor. I will keep it near to my heart. Now what will you have as your prize? I was the one who set the rules for our matches, so please don't hold back. Tell me whatever your heart desires. Though I'm certain you plan to ask about. No, I won't. I am curious about the circumstances at Lamar, but I'm sure there's an important reason that you and Patrick won't say anything. I don't feel like it's right for me to ask about it like this. But more importantly, I'm glad I was able to bring the best out of you. Nothing could make me prouder as an instructor. Oh? Oh yes, how very like you, instructor. And that is the reason I want you for the future. Hmm? And yet, a promise is a promise. Please choose one of these two cards. Oh, huh? what are you up to? Restores 3 HP to the target, restores 6 HP to the target. What? You chose Fifanol, so you win the I'll wear my school uniform and clean your ears prize. What? Hold on a minute. I don't really need a prize and there's no use trying to refuse. After all, it would bring shame to a woman in the Empire were she not to keep her promises. Surely you're trying, not trying to make me do anything shameful, Instructor Rain. Uh, no, but... <laughs> what? Oh. And so Rain was forced to receive Muse's prize. It may have been relaxing if he didn't have to constantly be on lookout for others. She got in her San Estrella outfit. Alright, well that's maxed out. Oh, what a troublemaker, huh? Alright, let's go check in on Sarah. Where did Muse even run off to? To her room? Is this Muse's room? Did you like my special service? I put my whole heart into it just for you. I mean, I get that was supposed to be relaxing, but I think I ended up more stressed out than I was before. I see, so it didn't work. In that case, perhaps I could give you a more thorough service. Your services are the reason I'm so stressed out in the first place. 
Uh, Reen just wondering how he got stuck with such a troublemaker in his class. No one in the original Class 7 was this much of a troublemaker. None like Ash, either. The biggest troublemakers we had in the class, seriously, were just Eustace and Machias. And not even troublemakers, they just were not getting along. You really didn't have any actual troublemakers in the original Class 7. Oh, hey, Cerberus. Wine. Looks like you're cleaning up. Haha, <laughs> good work. What a good dog. So that's everything Mick wanted me to tell you. Sounds like things are getting a bit sticky over there. But yeah, I gotcha. I'll be careful over here, too. Yeah, please do. I'm guessing they were talking about something related to that briefing. It would appear that enemy forces have been infiltrating Heimdallar at a large scale. Seems like they've got even more military strength than our friends in Ouroboros. Military strength comparable to Erebonia's. The Bracer Guild dealing with a well-known info broker. I guess they're connected in more ways than I thought. Oh, Rain, what are you doing here? Nothing much. There were just some things I was concerned about. Looks like you're done with your errands. Are you heading to Heimdallar now? Yep, that's the plan. I'm not in a huge hurry or anything, though. I was thinking I'd have a chat with the professor. Maybe I'll check out this famous key I've heard. So, oh, here we go. I'm still so fired up from earlier, so I thought I'd blow off some steam with a bit of training. Oh. You should probably kick back and relax for today, though. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in Heimdallar again. She's still fired up? Maybe I should join her. Instructor, would it be okay if I joined you? I was there earlier today, but the level 4 test was handled by my students. I'm getting the urge to do some training myself. <laughs> After everything he's done today. Reen, all right, you got it. Let's get to it then. Then afterwards, let's have a chat with the professor. If you say so. With Sarah in tow, Reen visited Professor Schmidt and talked about challenging the keep again. It's the second time today doing a sub route. He was reluctant at first given that the test was over at noon and he hadn't got any of the results yet. Since level 4 was under maintenance, he gave permission to go to an even more dangerous subroute. You know, I can't really tell. The angles make it so confusing whether Green or Sarah is taller. So this is what this place looks like on the inside. It's as crazy as I was told. Yeah, and I can sense a lot of monsters, too. They seem just as fierce as the ones from this afternoon, if not more. This trial is a byproduct of today's main test. It is reduced in scale, but the threat level is greatly increased. I'm looking forward to see what manner of data it will provide me with. Try to last as long as you can. I really don't like the way he said that, but we asked for this, so we'll just have to finish it. This looks like it's going to be a rough ride, but that's just the way I like it. Show me how much better you've gotten, Rain. You bet. Let's move. All right, well, here we go. And they're all dead. You have to get like really close for her to use her gun. Hey, 
Are they sure it's tougher than earlier today? Even though you break the boxes with it, it doesn't waste a charge, which is nice. Oh wow, we're almost there already. Smith's a liar saying it's increased in uh like dangerous levels. Oh, so much for your buff. Yep, there you go. And now we got a boss to kill. Just another one of these. Here's the last trial. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, three of them, though. That was a toughie. Good thing I had you here. You say that, but you barely broke a sweat. Didn't we just go up against a Viscount in general? Crap, don't tell me I really am getting old. Please, you're fine. I've just been training here longer. And just so you know, I'm happy I could do this with you, Instructor. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Rain. You've officially completed the alternate route for level 4. I'm satisfied with the data obtained from what was a little more than curiosity on my part. I'll be returning to the lab for, for to further parse the results. That will be all. Uh-huh. You're welcome, I guess. Once an ass, always an ass. Tell me about it. I'm still glad we did, though. You doing anything in particular after this? I'm heading to Heimdallar, but it's no rush. In fact, I could go for a nice pick-me-up first. A nice pick-me-up by that, do you mean? Come with me, it'll be my treat. Yeah, he's old enough to drink now, so he can have a drink with her. After that, the two of them left the keep and headed exactly where Reen suspected. Gold. At one gulp from Reen and triple gulps from Sarah. <laughs> she seems so happy. Nothing beats the first beer after a hard day's work. It's like the golden water of life. It gives me the wings to fly right into tomorrow. I didn't think it was possible, but you somehow gotten even better at drinking. Don't forget you're taking the train after this. I know, I know, I'm just having one. Sorry for making you join me, even though you can only have that non-alcoholic stuff. 
Well, I have some... Oh, so obviously he can drink, but he's got work to do. Well, I have some work to do when I get home. And I don't really mind it. I'm still having a good time. You sound so mature. You should be enjoying the privilege of drinking. Man, isn't it funny, though? If not for random chance, I never would have gotten to share a drink with you on my way home from work. Yeah, I guess so. The lounge in the Durflinger has a different kind of charm to it. Hey, he's blushing. Hmm, want me to guess what you're thinking of right now? Give me a break. You're unleashing your inner old man. You weren't like this the other night. Beer and spiritus should be enjoyed in different fashions. But it's true, you really have grown up. You have some tough students, but you're doing a good job teaching and guiding them. You overcame the issues in Lamar and saved the people of my hometown. In fact, you may have already surpassed me as an instructor. I think I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one. Like my students, I'm still in the process of learning as a member of class seven. It's only thanks to everyone's help that we were able to make every it through everything. In that sense, I pale in comparison to the person I strive to become. Huh, so who do you strive to become? Isn't that obvious? You, of course. Me? Oh, stop it. Sheesh, I gotta start taking you seriously. Huh, what did you say? Hehe, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, he's having non-alcoholic. I still have work to do. I, I don't think one beer would kill him. After that, Rain walked the slightly drunk Sarah to the station. Rain promised Sarah they would see each other again soon and saw her off at the train station. Alright, that's four. I assume everyone's gonna have at least like one more bonding event for the most part, because uh there's so many characters that we still only have at four, because we haven't seen in a while. So I assume either in Heimdallar or maybe after Heimdallar we'll have something with everybody. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So I guess now we can uh, head on back to the dorm and rest. But I think shouldn't that, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the astronomy lesson thing, Toa's going to want to do that. But uh, I guess that'll be when we progress. I assume. Well, where's Toa at so we can find out? Our next field of exercise is Heimdallar. I knew this was coming, but I'm still worried about Calvert. It's unsettling. We'll really need to be ready for anything while we're there. It's not the only thing that bothers me. I know George is busy, busy, but we haven't been able to get a hold of Angie either. Oh. Knowing Angie, though, she's probably in a big fight with Marquis Frogner or something. Well, she was in a fight, I guess. That would make sense for her. Right? I'm sure we'll hear from her when things settle down a little. I'm probably making a big deal over nothing. I could see her rolling up on her bike out of the blue by the time we finish this conversation. That's just Angelica. You got a point. All right, let's head back. Celestin's room. Should I head back to my room and get ready for tomorrow?
お届けした曲は今注目の若手演奏家エリオット・クレイグによる「光さす空の下で」でした。Oh, there you go, Elliot. デビュー以来、徐々に人気を高めている彼。お姉さんも有名なピアニストで、今の伴奏も彼女が担当されたんです。She's obviously, I mean, it's Vita. We know it's her talking about Elliot, like, you know, just, oh, yeah, this Elliot Craig guy. <laughs> 発売という噂の新作レコードがとても楽しみですねさて続いてはリスナーからのお便りのコーナーですラジオネームわお、his music's game playing on a band time エリオット must really be giving it his all and the piano accompaniment must have been Fiona I'm glad the two of them can play together it'd be great to hear him play live maybe I'll ask him about when I see him in Heimdallar She's talking like she she obviously knows what's going on. Yeah, Vita doesn't seem to have much of a love life. Fluffy mint. Could she have been any more obvious? And Missy's advice was way too on the nose. It's like, she, it's like she's talking in class 7. Shifts in the weather? What does she mean by that? No, I shouldn't put too much weight on her words. I'm swamped with grading tests, pants are sold out training, and field exercises as it is. Oh, and I made that promise to Toa too. All right, everything should be set now. Oh, it's almost time. Oh, there he is. Good evening, Rain. It's good to see you again. Hey, Alisa. You too, Emma, Machias. Sorry I'm a little late. No worries, we just started the call now. Feels kind of strange considering we just saw each other. Last time I saw you was when we talked in Heimdallar. Oh, I'm guessing you turned in, you tuned into a Ven time, right, Rain? Yeah, you too, Machias. Her timing is too perfect to be a coincidence. I was listening too, and that woman is so frustrating. 
we're running all over trying to find her and she's just taunting us over the radio. It does really... I wonder if they're going <laughs> to see if that uh, the letter like mentioned that. It does relieve me to hear her voice every week, though. Her broadcasts are pre-recorded, right? I wonder if anyone knows where she is. I have been considering trying to track her from the recording she leaves. It would probably be better to ask Allie so about her father another time. What's wrong, Reen? Oh, it's nothing. All right. Ah, uh, uh, right. Our next field exercises are going to be in Heimdallar. Ah, really? Excellent. That means we can begin preparing for Class 7's reunion. It feels like it's been forever since the last time we were all together. Yeah, so true. We need to decide on a place and time. Let me know as soon as you figure something out. We'll need to contact the others. Elliot, Gaius, Eusis, and Milliam. Oh, right. Will Fee, Lauren, and Instructor Sarah be there with you, Reen? I've heard some crazy rumors. Oh, actually. Before we get to that... Oh, yep, here it is. Care to tell us about Fluffy Mint from the radio? Um, so it was you she was talking about after all. I figured that was the case as soon as Misty mentioned the capital. Now I'm curious. Give us the details, Reen. Isn't she one of the students who just joined your class? Well, I can't say for sure that it's her just yet. It's probably just Misty trying to mess with me. That is definitely something I can see her doing. Yeah, it had to get brought up at some point. So if you don't do Emma's bonding event, will she, like, not say, like, oh, we just met earlier? After Randy finished preparing for next day's class, he met with Toe on the roof of the school building. Together, they prepared for the astronomy le lesson before the students arrived. Oh, the roof at the school. I was gonna say, how are they gonna get on the roof of their building? All right, everything looks good now. Reen, can you come give it a look too? Sure thing. Wow, this is amazing. The sky's just full of stars. It feels like I, I could reach out and touch them. Right, tonight's the perfect night for stargazing. Thank you, Reen. I'm so glad you went through the trouble of fixing my grandfather's telescope. No, thank you, Toa. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to get to see an amazing look at this starry sky. I guess we helped each other out then. But really, thank you, Reen, for always giving me strength and courage. I'm really grateful to you, even back when we were students. Toa. Oh, there they are. Everyone's here. Right? No, not everyone. There's a few of them missing. Stark's not here, for one. This is where we're doing the astronomy lesson, right? Um, heh, looks like we walked in on quite the moment. That's not true. Settle down, guys. Looks like everyone's here now. So let's get started. Yeah, it's not everybody. There's a number of students missing. Wow, it's beautiful. You know, I believe it's proper to let the youngest go first. Oh, so you're going to be the youngest when it's convenient for you. Is that it? <laughs> My, but it truly is a gorgeous starry sky we have over us tonight. Yeah, let's keep doing our best, together. The extracurricular lesson turned out to be a big success, and the branch campus bonds were even stronger for the next field exercises. Well, that gets Toa at maximum. So I guess it's good you did do her side quest, so you get that extra bonding point. Oh, alright, well, you know what? Probably a good stopping point then. So uh, I assume it's going to jump up to Wednesday where we're going to have our Panzer Soldat training. 
and then lead straight into us heading to Heimdallar, I assume. So look forward to that. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.